this is not fi- it's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think I see them analyzing that data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false, but it gives a false narrative to markets so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Credit Suisse got some more bad news from the courts in Singapore. Okay? <laughs> Credit Suisse was ordered to pay $926 million because they breached their duty to safeguard the assets of the former Prime Minister of Georgia. His name is Bid Bid, Bid or something like that. But his, his name is it, 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 it's not what's really important about this video. What's important about this video is these guys went to international courts in separate countries to go after Credit Suisse. They sued them in Singapore, New Zealand, and Bermuda. Because they probably felt on U.S. soil, they could not get a fair judgment. And what makes this even crazier is it's not related to what happened with Credit Suisse now. This is a, this is a court case from the 2008 debacle. 2008. So you know what that tells me? The fraud and mismanagement that the Singapore courts found that Credit Suisse did surrounding 2008. Imagine what's going to happen now with litigation with this court case as precedent for all the fraud, the mismanagement, and everything that went on with the collapse of Credit Suisse right now in 2023. This is going to set precedence. This is going to show a pattern of behavior. This is going to show a modus operandi. And Credit Suisse <laughs> is going to be sitting in court for another 20, 30 years. And they think that $926 million settled, well, verdict rather, or decision by the court. If they think that $926 million was a lot of money, imagine the lawsuits that are going to be pending against Credit Suisse, the losses are going to be in the billions. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Credit Suisse losing a court case for $926 million because of what they did in 2008 is going to neg negatively affect them with the new lawsuits that we know are coming because of their actions in 2021 2022 and 2023. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.